Good morning. It's Monday, February 21st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, A COVID Broken Heart, and our scripture is Psalm chapter 38. O Lord, don't rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. Your arrows have struck deep, and your blows are crushing me. Because of your anger, my whole body is sick. My health is broken because of my sins. My guilt overwhelms me. It's a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and stink because of my foolish sins. I'm bent over and racked with pain. All day long I walk around filled with grief. A raging fever burns within me and my health is broken. I'm exhausted and completely crushed. My groans come from an anguished heart. You know what I long for, Lord. You hear my every sigh. My heart beats wildly. My strength fails, and I'm going blind. My loved ones and friends stay away, fearing my disease. Even my own family stands at a distance. Meanwhile, my enemies lay traps to kill me. Those who wish me harm make plans to ruin me. All day long they plan their treachery. But I am deaf to all their threats. I am silent before them as one who cannot speak. I choose to hear nothing, and I make no reply. For I am waiting for you, O Lord. You must answer me, O Lord my God. I prayed, don't let my enemies gloat over me or rejoice at my downfall. I am on the verge of collapse, facing constant pain. But I confess my sins. I am deeply sorry for what I have done. I have many aggressive enemies. They hate me without reason. They repay me evil for good and oppose me for pursuing good. Do not abandon me, O Lord. Do not stand at a distance, my God. Come quickly to help me, O Lord, my Savior. David's self-diagnosed situational distress symptoms parallel Takatsubo commonly known as broken heart syndrome. Assaulted by raging fever, exhaustion, and difficulty breathing, the heart, crushed and broken, groans in shock-induced cardiomyopathy. It's a sad parallel to what modern-day pandemic grief is pushing on the world's human family. Our reality the past two years has developed a worldwide epidemic of languishing in lethargy and misery as a response to the ruin of COVID's biophysical symptoms. It's the essence of King David's spiritual malaise. His sins have found him out. And his life has come to a grinding halt in an overwhelming sense of guilt and grief. His heart can only stand in shock against the revelation of life's fragile and tenuous nature. What looms before him is the very real possibility of slipping into the darkness. All else, kingdom, family, riches, and even the simple act of breathing are superfluous compared to getting relief from the approaching darkness. If it's truly possible to languish in a panic attack mode, This is it. David's reaction to the monster that stands ready to chew him, even the memory of him, to pieces, is confession. As one who in his youth knew the presence of God well, David's understanding of his guilt brought an outpouring of shame and inner urging to return to the place of forgiveness. He longed to be clean. Accepting responsibility for the calamity which now defined his character, David asked God to purge his guilt and shame and come close. Perhaps the pan-human response to the Takatsubo broken heart pandemia is a return to the way David knew was right, confession, owning who we are and what we've done in ignoring our Creator's way. That seems to be the only first step in the right direction. For you today, each of us can only take the first step in our own journey. I cannot take yours, nor can you take mine. With God, repentance is a singular affair. Like breathing, air in my lungs does no good in keeping your life afloat. 
there are some things each of us needs to do to address that which breaks our Heavenly Father's heart. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.